Hi there, my name's Junav, I'm the only me there is, and welcome to a game called God's Basement. Now, don't let this nice little office environment fool you. This is very much a horror game, but it is similar to one I played on the channel a few days ago, Visage. That is to say, more of a atmospheric horror. Now, according to the Steam page, and the, note that this game came out a few days ago as of the recording of this video. <clears throat> uh, according to the Steam page, this game doesn't pretend to be anything other than a walking simulator. There are no jump scares, no uh, big scary things, only atmospheric or and a bit of puzzle solving, but that's according to the Steam page, I have no idea, I've never played this game. But I'm eager to try it because from the screenshots, I sort of got a bit of a Stanley's Parable vibe. Just not comedy, right? So, let's read the tips. Press the interact key. Uh, well, I'm using a PS4 controller for this, so I have no idea what the keys are in this case. I'm guessing simple X or whatever. Okay, a hint is automatically given if you a hint is automatically given if you stay inside an area for more than six minutes. Got it. So let's look around. I cannot open this door. I can't open this door, so let's move on. Slowest walk in the world, and yet, damn, this is a very nice environment. Now, from what I can tell, and what's on the Steam page, the only thing there is here are uh, puzzles. Puzzles and atmospheric horror. Updating nature of the game, I can... Okay. Oh, that's neat and handy. You can reset or just unlock all the levels if you want. Oh, okay, I'm not even playing. This is just the freaking main menu. Awesome. Oh, this is very cool. Very nice. Very interactive, you might say. Load chapter one. Ah, see? Offense environment. I can already, I can already feel the Stanley Parable vibes, except it's going to be missing the wonderful talent of the narrator and the freaking comedy. Okay, not E. Uh, the hell? Oh, okay, I guess I did... Ah, square is flashlight. Any game that requires a flashlight can never be good. But hey, it's gotta be better than Visage, right? Visage, you had nothing. Just a lighter. A camera. And dear God, not a basement. Oh, I think the game froze on me. Please don't tell me it froze on me. I'm gonna kill someone if it froze on me. Game froze on me. Ah. I was close. For a moment, I was about to close the freaking game. I thought it had frozen on me to, to oblivion. It's not the first time a game has frozen on me before, but alright. Ah, what a nice office environment. I must be a turtle because... I don't just move slow, I get out of my chair slowly, too. Hear that? A phone. Can I open this door? Squeaky door. Hello. Hello, and welcome to God's Basement, a place for special individuals such as yourself. Special! I realize that you may be a bit confused at the moment, but don't worry. Everything will be explained soon. You might not be able to remember everything about your past just yet, but those memories will return soon. You might be wondering who else is here, but you'll meet the inhabitants of God's basement soon enough. That's never good. I know that I might seem suspicious, but for now, I'm going to need you to trust me. Whenever you're ready, exit the room and keep walking until you find the room with the blue light. From there, I'll provide further instructions. Also, if you see or hear anything strange or unusual, ignore it to the best of your ability. I'll talk to you once you reach the designated area. Good luck. 
Okay, so uh, gotta leave the room and find a room with blue light. Got it. S should be simple, right? Uh, he mentioned inhabitants. I didn't know about that. I hope that's not gonna be a problem. That's a pretty picture. I don't like inhabitants. Horror games and inhabitants never go well together. Not for the person playing, anyway. Also, that guy's voice was extremely robotic. I mean, like, he was bored with life. Just like, hello and welcome to God's basement. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, right? That typical, really not interested in my job kind of guy. But I guess that's what happens when you arrive to God's basement. The other thing I uh, seem to notice him say was something about the past. And that's something else on the Steam page that... Your character apparently has a pretty fudged up past, meaning that, can I run? No. That's better. Stomping away, stomping away, yeah. Apparently this guy has a pretty bad past, but you don't know about it until, you know, you start covering it. So I, I, I'm just saying because I have no idea what to expect, but, you know. Right, can't open that. Is there any other Neil Young father? James Young, you. Oh, cool. I'm... I have a family. Strange to say that, no? Alright, that, uh, uh... Hmm. It's supposed to be finding a blue light room, but... I don't see anything other than a single door. And you can't really... And you can't really open this door. I guess this is the first puzzle, right? Wait, this doesn't even have a door. How? Hmm. Can you turn on the TV? No? Oh, come on, man. I just wanted to watch some Netflix. How about the laptop? Play some video games? No? Hmm. Alright. Same pretty picture. Man, I must have printed that thing out everywhere. Don't want to get too lost in here now. Oh, I don't have a flashlight. Interesting. Can't do anything else with it. Whoa! Okay, do not touch R1. That is zoom vision. I am clearly a hero. I mean, come on. I have zoom vision. Yes, I am St. James Young. I am you. Uh Just started out and already I don't know where to go. Hmm. I could swear he said something about a blue light. But I don't know where to find that. Welcome to the afterlife. Congratulations, you're dead. Don't worry, we still love you. Here's a trophy, you deserve it. Where are you exactly? You can call this place God's Basement. Wondering where everyone is? You'll meet them soon enough. One last thing, you can't leave. This is cute. Really uh, cute. Hey, uh, 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 whatever your name is, um, Mr. Uh, Caller Man. No, uh, uh, hmm, can't really pick up the phone. What's it say there? Oh. James Young deceased. Yes. I have a God's Basement ID. Alright. Um, yeah, cool. Okay. Thought I'd find more hallways, or more ways to move around. Unless I have to find my way around. Welcome to the afterlife. Don't remember everything. Your memories will return shortly. Lastly, trust the operator. That's his name, the operator. Because he's operating my life. Can't really open anything or. Nope. Nothing. Is there anything else I can do? Hmm. Gotta love the eerie music. It really fits the silent and uh, creepy atmosphere. Like, can't hear anything, nothing. What is this plant here? This is less creepy than um, 
visage already. Hello. The visage already. Can I actually use it? The fuck? Let's use zoom vision. I mean, sure. Can I change the channel? I mean, I guess I can't change the channel. Creepy ass music. Is that a donkey? Yeah, I'm out of here. I don't trust TVs that don't turn off. Except I can't do anything else. Um. I want the music though. Can I grab anything? I love cats, and that's a cat. Huh, I am dreadfully confused. It's terrifying, but only because it's unnerving. And I know that's the point, but I, I feel like I should be uh, accessing a room. I'm in circles and it's just the first area. Can't really act, interact with this, can I? Waiting for that bunny to, co to pop out of the TV or whatever. Wait, is this always here? Two Dead and Fatal Crash by Stephen Miles. A fatal accident that, that occurred last weekend is currently being investigated. Reports say that an elderly couple, along with their infant grandson, were driving along an interstate highway. The driver lost control. The vehicle swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The driver, a retired elderly man by the name of Frank Young, was killed in the accident along with his infant grandson, Kevin Young. The only survivor of the crash, Margaret Young, is in stable condition. Rumors suggest that alcohol might have been involved in the incident, but there is insufficient evidence to properly conclude the suspicion. Huh. You mind. Okay. Oh! Reading that news must have eliminated my grandfather and brother from the equation. So wait, is this some kind of mystery? Like, who killed who? I mean, it's obvious I did something, but... Or I played some part, but... Oh, son of a bitch, the... Donkey's gone. Music... Pace is slower now. I don't like that. Is the door open now? yet. Something's missing. I mean, he's farther. God, that's creepy. So a big part of this game is obviously observing your environment to see if anything's different. And in doing so, you can actually, uh, I'm guessing, gain information or change the way things go. It's just kind of difficult to know what's what. Yeah, no, stop it.
It's just a door creaking open. Ah, a key. There we go. It's just a door creaking open. There's no nothing wrong with that. Well, I learned enough from Visage to know that once you trigger the one thing that you're supposed to trigger, you can move on. So I don't have to actually go around in circles so much as actually just find find the answer. What the fuck was that? What do we have here? Another PC, another PC. Nothing in here anyway. That's good. Oh. Can we find the blue room? Hmm. Don't like that. Oh. Now what's in here? I'm probably gonna need this. It's too conspicuous, if you ask me. Ah, there's a room with a blue door, lights, something. Brother? God's basement. The moving barricade. Excuse me? Oh. You have to press. If you are new to God's basement, trust the operator. He will guide you. Yeah. Fascinating. Alright, uh This is blue, alright. Now see, I don't like any of this. Is that, is that me? Can I pick this up? Why can't I pick this up? Ooh, that's awesome. Um, okay. Wait, is that a different message? No, never mind. Well, I'm in the room. Now see why you gotta go and do that. That's not very nice. Don't don't back away from me. I I see. You. Oh dear God. Dear God, she knew. Ugh, terrifying. Now why would I go open the door, right? Yeah. Well, as far as I know. Hello. As far as I know, there are no jump scares, but. You never know. Walking simulator and all that. Hi. I see you found your way to the blue room. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding it. By the way, I forgot to mention who I am. Just call me the operator for now. I guess this much. It's not an official name, but I find it quite catchy. You're making great progress so far. We've been having some issues. Of course. There's one in the next room on a table, next to a radio. It'll be quite handy in the upcoming areas. I know that this may not be what you expected, but the truth is, there are many versions of life after death, and God's basement is one of them. Thank you for trusting me. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Once again, if you run into anything suspicious or strange, Ignore it to the best of your ability. I'll talk to you again in the next room after you retrieve the flashlight. Good luck. As long as anything suspicious or scary doesn't come after me, like a certain uh, girl or thing in Visage, we're good. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. Mm. I can see creepy shit, I just don't want to have it chasing me. Next to a box? There are many boxes here, you you have to be more specific. Ugh. Ah, uh, no. I don't like it. Wait, was that something I could look at? No. Just a magazine. I don't like it. I don't like it at Again, it's just a door creaking and a dark hallway. Who's afraid of the dark anyway? Hey, there's a flashlight and a hammer. Do I need both? Can I defend myself? No, I cannot. 
All right. Cool. Anything suspicious? No. <sighs> this is the problem right here. Regarding horror, you'll probably... I don't know if I mentioned this before, but you'll probably never see me screaming. But I am a jumper. And the one thing that always gets me is, of course, loud sounds. I see you found a flashlight. Past this door, things can get quite dangerous. Why? Your memories from your past life are still probably blurry, but they'll start coming back shortly. For the time being, make your way down through the hallway. I highly advise you not to spend too much time looking around. I'll try. If anything makes an attempt to get your attention, ignore it to the best of your ability. Got it. If you see anything or anyone approach you, oh, no. do whatever is necessary to avoid contact with that entity. Most uh. importantly, do not, I repeat, do not acknowledge their existence. If you follow these guidelines, you should be just fine. Give me a minute or two to unlock the door. Once the screen shows that it is unlocked, you may proceed. I'll see you again soon. Good luck. And I'm hoping that by um, playing more horror games on the channel, I'll become less afraid of loud sounds because it's been a matter of my entire life just I get scared I mean it doesn't matter how much I know even if I know the sound is coming it'll still frighten me it'll still startle me and these games just they love to thrive on that shit just like the jump scares it's just it's it's evil I'm not gonna turn around now the way he said that the bit about the entity I may be misremembering I may I think I didn't read anything about jumps about jump scares I think it was just nothing complicated. That's what it, that's what the Steam page said. Nothing complicated, meaning that I just walk around and see shit. But I'm hoping it's exactly that. I don't want to run into things that chase me. Oh, that's it. One of the things was you don't have to hide. So I'm guessing I won't have to hide. Can you get a move on, sir? Do I have to turn around? Nope. He said to ignore it. So I'm ignoring it. I'm gonna look down. Turn the... Turn the shit off. No. Okay. Ah, there we go. Not at all terrifying or chilling. Oh, okay. See, it turns out atmospheric horror is the thing I hate the most. I love it. But it is fucking terrifying. Ah, who needs a flashlight here, right? I'm not shining it in there. Gotta shine it in there. God damn it. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't say that in God's basement, but... Uh, you know what, I don't... Uh, can, I, uh, can I get through here? Hello? I don't want to turn around, guys. You're gonna make me turn around, aren't you? Okay, I'm going back now. Don't appear out of nowhere, lady. Motherfucker. Alright. Now oh, that's one slow moving flashlight. Did he say anything about where to contact him next? I don't think he did. I don't want to go back there. Not that way anymore. Can I go? Oh. Wait, but I... Am I supposed to go back? I don't wanna. But I know how these games go now. I understand. A little bit of backtracking is necessary, no matter how scary it is. Usually because, in these cases, you know, you turn around and something's changed. Some door opens out of nowhere. Something happens. I want to believe. Mildly. What the fuck? 
Oh. Can I actually move you? I mean, can I? Honestly, can I? Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be glitching in into this thing, but... Here I go. Ugh. Lovely. I changed absolutely nothing. Can I move in here? No. I'm just glitching shit out. Whoa! Hmm. Okay, so I waited for the hint, or rather went looking for it, and I realized that apparently I can, I should zoom in here, and that should trigger the next thing. Yeah, that did it. Hi. I shouldn't have acknowledged her. Now that I think about it. The hint didn't say anything about acknowledging her. But that's how these triggers go, right? Oh, God. She opened the door for me. Lovely lady. All these sounds, man. I swear they're gonna... do something to me. Hmm. In other news, a car crash resulted in the death of a grandfather and an infant child. Authorities reported that the car swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The only survivor was the grandmother of the infant child. Although she suffered major injuries, she is currently in stable condition. Sounds just like the operator. Authorities also reported that the grandfather was driving the vehicle and that alcohol might have been involved in the incident. Wait, am I looking? Is that lady the grandmother? My grandmother? I don't know. Well, at least I know that if I get lost again, I can just look at the hints. Now see... Now I know... Oh, dear lord. God did not forgive me. Yeah, that's, maybe that's where you're in the basement? Hmm. Alright, can I actually get out of here now? Oh good. I can. Just barely. Alright. So, as we go along, we learn that... We learn things, not just the story, but uh, how to play. Like, for example, if there's one light in the entire room pointing towards some documents, best to super zoom on that document. Ah, there we go. Moving on. And if not, there's always a hint or two. Can't really get through uh, here. All right. I know how to. Do we know how to? I think we know how to. No, we don't. We don't know how to. Um. I guess just what? Look at everything suspiciously? Oh, this was a door. Ah, phone. Silly me. Uh, yeah? Ah, can't read that. Nope. I need to... Can I zoom in on it? They never answered any of my letters or my calls. I wanted an eternity. I waited an eternity, sorry, to hear the sound of their voices. Is that why you're in the basement? Well, okay. I didn't want to he 
hear her crying all night long and I actually have things to do so no all right then I'm terribly sorry if you tire of seeing me go in circles but again I just answered the phone what do you want if she, if she says something like, why did you hang up or leave, I'm gonna get really frightened. Hello. Thank goodness for hints, because you can't know how things are supposed to work. Even if you consider it even if you consider it through experimentation, but how are you supposed to know, right? So apparently, in this case, I'm just supposed to not answer the phone. Thing is, do I keep it ringing? Or do I leave? I'm gonna try and leave. Oh, it stopped. Okay, that's what I was supposed to do, I think. Because the hint said, answer the phone on your way back, and then, yep, there we go. Then on the second time, don't answer it. I'm waiting on the operator again. Hey! Did I pass? Was that the end of chapter one? Game foes again. I mean, lovely. I think. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I think there are chapters anyway. Ah, see, there we go. Back in God's basement, but, uh. Where am I? Okay. So, this was, uh, this is a good stopping point, the uh, start of God's Basement, the end of that first part, enough to cause intrigue, I'd say. So far we know that uh, only Grandma survived in the crash that killed Grandpa and my brother, so let's see what happens from there. Having just arrived in this room... I have no idea where to go or what to do, but let's hope the operator shows up and tells us. But anyway, that's all the time I have for today. If you like the video, thumb wrestle with that like button down below, comment and subscribe. But as always, I'm the only me, so you be the only you. See you next time.